Well, who would have thought it? Ten years on, I can't believe it. Thank you for still being there. You know, a show like this does not do what it's done without some very exceptional people. And I just want to say thank you to everybody who's helped this show along the way in the last 10 years. The technicians. <laughs> we still have 15 of our original production team here. I'd like to say a special thank you to them. They're still with us. Uh, led by the incredible, the man who is always to be seen going around for the last 10 years with his fingers in his ears going, it's too loud. Um, Tony Edge. <laughs> we also have <coughs> almost all our original. I was going to say sound, but you know. <laughs> Our original cast are here, where are you guys? We're going to have a spotlight. <laughs> and it's almost all of our original creative team are here as well. I want to say a big, big, big thank you. Uh, Bobby Aitken from Saudi is here. <laughs> William Williams, um, a fantastic um, lighting guy. Mark Fisher, our designer. Arlene Phillips is here. Our dancer, Tim Kutrav, original costumes. Mike Dixon, original music supervisor. And this. Pippa Alien, our casting director. Steve Sidwell, our orchestrator. We love you. Thank you for staying with us. still with us after all these years, very, very much still with us, uh, is our writer and director, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Ben Elton. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. We won't keep you too long, we're all anxious to get to the bar, but I do uh, want to say uh, very sincerely that uh, working on We Will Rock You has been one of the great joys of my life, uh, an enormous part of it, and something which has been incredibly special and brought uh, huge happiness to me, and uh, not least because it's offered me the chance to share in the extraordinary artistry of so many, many incredible talents here in London and worldwide over the years, uh, an incredible example of which you've seen on this stage tonight, ladies and gentlemen. To be able to, be able to work in such an artistic environment with so many inspired and inspiring people, it can only inspire one forevermore to greater endeavours. And of course the most important thing is I've had the chance over many years to share with many audiences, as I have done tonight, the extraordinary and unique joy of live theatre, of live music, of live rock and roll. We live in a world where increasingly we are tied to the little uh, devices in our hands. We're looking at things on YouTube through little letterboxes. Increasingly the earphones are in our heads and we're getting slowly imprisoned by the technology that was supposed to liberate us. Uh, tonight, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not ticking you off, but hey, Brian's on stage tearing those riffs off. You ain't digging it, you're filming it. Forget the film, dig the moment, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not going to laugh, but hey, every now and then, one day, I'll put it back in the pocket and just rock. criticisms. You've been an unbelievable audience and so have the many thousands since. So I've had my opportunity to speak, finally, to pay tribute to the people who created the cultural canon of music that you have been enjoying tonight. Imagine it as a writer, the moment when I was offered the chance to share, offered the chance to create a narrative environment for some of the greatest popular music ever created. So clearly my greatest debt is to the four members of Queen, to John Deacon of course, to Freddie Mercury. close 
close, dear friends and brothers in 10 years of close cooperation, absolute friendship, and we have never, ever fallen out. We've had many a row, but we've never fallen out. I really want to say thank you to my friends, Brian May and Roger Taylor from my heart. We thank the technicians, but of course live theatre doesn't happen without risk and without immense faith and commitment. Producing live theatre is a very risky business and it's a way to go grey very, very quickly, believe me. We have the most incredible producers who have nurtured us from the very beginning and have kept this show going here and worldwide. Some were involved far before I was, years and years ago when the idea of a Queen Live show was first mooted in the United States with, uh, with, with, with Robert De Niro and Tribeca and from then we came to Britain and our British producers, Phil McIntyre Entertainment, became involved. And of course, it was all put together by a rather wonderful friend of mine, a Svengali type, but my God, he's got a big kind heart. The producer from Queen Theatrical Productions, and of course, also their manager, the wonderful Jim Beach. So, ladies and gentlemen, we have here tonight, Phil McIntyre himself and Paul Roberts. We have from the United States representing Tribeca, of course, we have, and also we have Jim Beach from, from Queen, and from the United States uh, representing Tribeca, we have Robert De Niro. Will you please welcome the producers of Queen and They made it happen. There's no theatre, so I do appreciate them. Okay, it ain't quite over, ladies and gentlemen. It's never over with Queen because, let us say, we've been here ten years. We're going to be here.